All right, never going to use fractions, right? And notice uh, what if you have a recipe and maybe you want to triple the servings. So let's look at multiply the amounts for one serving. So we're only looking in this column. Didn't mean to hit that seven eighths. And then we're going to multiply each one of these by three. So if you remember with fractions, so I'm going to do three times seven eighths. When you multiply with fractions, you multiply the numerators and the denominator. Well, there is no denominator. Sure there is. You can make three over one, right? And so I get 21 over eight and that's cups. All right. Do the same thing with salt. So three over one times, oops, one, I was looking at the wrong line again, one fourth. So that'll be three fourths. And then finally, the last one in tablespoons, three times three, nine tablespoons. So that's not too bad. You're probably going, yeah, but that didn't really use fractions, which is true. So um, let's see what happens when I have something that I actually need fractions. So let me get it to go to the next slide. All right, and get rid of that. And now it says find the average for the amount for two in four servings. Well, I know how to find an average if you have, you add up and then you divide by the number of items. Well, if I'm doing two and four servings, that's going to be two items. So I will add for the milk, mixed water or milk, I will add two plus four and then divide by two because there's two items. So of course that's six over two. And then I can reduce this to three cups. All right, the next one, find the average. This is where fractions come in. So I have one teaspoon, one half teaspoon plus one teaspoon. If you remember, you cannot add fractions unless they have the same denominator. Well, that doesn't, right? Because that could be like one over one. But what you do is you force it to have the same denominator. And how would you do that? Well, you'd multiply the bottom by two if you multiply the bottom by two, you have to multiply the top by two because that doesn't change your fraction. Notice two over two is one, one over one is one, which is still one. And so from here now, I can say, well, one half plus two over two, which is three halves. Well, that's just adding them together. I haven't averaged yet. So to average, you divide by two. Remember when you divide fractions, you flip and multiply. So that could be two over one. So I would flip and multiply and that becomes three over four. Some students start to memorize and notice that you just bring that to the bottom and you get your three over four. All right, now this next one, they actually, I know you can't see the answer because you'll probably wonder why I'm doing this but they actually want you to convert your answer in um, teaspoon or tablespoons. So I'm gonna add one half plus three fourths and I'm still going to average this. So if I have to change this um, into tablespoons, then I know that there's 16 tablespoons for one cup. So one half and there's 16 tablespoons for one cup and I can make that 16 over one plus three fourths and there's 16 tablespoons for one cup and then I'm still dividing by two. So I can kind of see here that I can multiply one times 16, two times one, 16 over two, which is eight. Same thing up here. Um, I don't tend to, if I notice I can cancel, I don't tend to multiply straight across because I can actually cancel that and it makes it a lot easier. So three times four is 12. And so I get 20 over two, which gives me 10 tablespoons. So this is when you have to actually, you know, maybe you have something 
Um, a good example of this is if you actually added these and um, averaged them, you would get five eighths. Well, who has five eighths of a cup? And so that's why we changed it into tablespoons. All right, let's look at the next thing we want to do is we want to subtract the amounts for one serving from the amounts for four servings. So I'm looking at the four servings minus the one serving. So the first line here, you can see that's going to be four minus seven eighths. Well, just like adding fractions, subtracting, you have to have the same denominator. So let's make that four over one. I need a denominator with an eight. So I multiply the top and the bottom by eight and then seven eighths. And so get, that gives me 32 over 8 minus 7 eighths, which gives me 25 over 8 cups. All right, the next line is 1 teaspoon minus 1 fourth teaspoon. So once again, get my least common denominator. So 4 over 4 minus 1 fourth. So 1 times 4 is 4 over 4 minus 1 fourth. And I get three fourths. I have some videos as well about um, how to add and subtract fractions. Okay, so I'll add those that you can also look at if this is going a little fast and you don't remember this. All right, now <clears throat> this is a mistake a lot of students make. I want to subtract three fourths minus three, but they're not in the same units. So to do that, I have to turn the cups into teaspoons or tablespoons. You can tell I don't cook, right? <laughs> and so we already know how to do that, right? That there is 16 tablespoons for one cup. So that's all I'm gonna do is convert that. And then what, minus three tablespoons. Well, I'm gonna have to put this in the same format, okay? Or we'll see if I have to. Let's go ahead and multiply this out first. So four goes into 16, four times, four times three is 12. So notice I actually don't have to convert that three into a fraction because that's not a fraction. And then I get nine. So a lot of fraction rules here for you. And um, again, I'll post some more fraction videos to get you back in multiplying, dividing, subtracting, and all that good stuff.